Sleep means more than vital brain cell maintenance. It also lets the brain treat us to spellbindingly original shows. Our minds are screens for dreams. No one can know for sure why we have these mystifying nightly visions. Some say dreams let us unlock the brain's awesome potential. Our brains may buzz while we're awake, but there's a time while we sleep when they get even busier. It's when our body is perfectly still, when practically every area of our brain comes alive. That's when we dream. But there's only one part that virtually shuts down, our logic center. Unrestricted by reason, our dreaming brain can wander infinite and fantastic worlds that it creates. It's a human potential to have dreams which are like a virtual world in which you can simulate any imaginable experience. Behind closed lids, our eyes flicker wildly in time to our dreams, hence the term rapid eye movement or REM sleep. During REM sleep, our brain grows so busy that blood flow to it nearly doubles. So that we can't act out our dreams, our brain sends signals to the spinal cord temporarily paralyzing our limbs. It may feel as if we dream all night, but we dream in bursts, a few minutes at a time. Yet in a lifetime, we'll spend six years dreaming. Dreams do more than entertain our brain. They are part of the job of storing memories. Only at rest, can the brain sift the day's experiences, discarding useless details. Some people believe REM sleep, that it's almost like a filing system, that your brain is going through these random bits of information, uh, filing away the things that are important, sort of discarding the things that are not important. Events occurring while we're awake are only stored in temporary memory. In dreams, we throw away irrelevant material and file useful information into permanent storage. We know that when you go to sleep at night, especially during REM sleep or dreaming sleep, that's when your memories are consolidated. That's when you learn more things. In fact, it's very clear that if you study and then sleep, you're going to do better on the test the next day, as opposed to what most people do is, let's stay awake cramming and take the test. That sleep is critical for memory and learning. But the sorting process can be strange. With no logic to impose order, thoughts can collide, unleashing creativity, generating fresh ideas. This may explain how some great minds work. Einstein's dream of traveling on a sled at the speed of light influenced his theory of relativity. Nobel Prize winner Niels Bohr revolutionized physics when a dream of horses offered a clue to atomic structure. An artist Salvador Dali described his surreal work as hand-painted dream photographs. Dreaming pays off, even for space technologists. While dreaming, NASA designer Bruce Dahmer cracked a problem that had bugged him for months. How to build a permanent moon base. There were all these elements. How do you shield astronauts from radiation? How do you have them use local resources, maybe get oxygen out of the lunar surface material? And so I basically absorbed all this stuff for months. And then one night, I consciously said, OK, everything's in there. Go for it. You know, boot up the dream processor and give, give me something. That night, brain unbound, Bruce found his answer. Robots, sent in a space vehicle, could land on the moon and build a base, even before astronauts left Earth. When he woke, he began sketching, and the people at NASA liked the idea. The NASA civil servants who have written reports about how innovative the work is 
and how forward thinking it is. And I credit this to sort of the unfettered world of dreams. The challenge is not to leave dreams to chance. We may be able to harness the sleeping brain's power by using a technique called lucid dreaming. Typically, lucid dreams happen when you're in a dream and some oddity occurs and you start to wonder, well, what's going on? Why are you floating up in the air? How do you do that? Oh, because it's a dream. The key is to learn how to know that you're dreaming without waking. The next step is to take the dream where you want it to go. To help, Stephen LeBurge made an ingenious mask. Inside, sensors detect rapid eye movement. The mask flashes a light, bright enough to pass through your eyelids, but not bright enough to wake you up. It's a gentle signal that you're dreaming. With practice, you can steer your dreaming brain, guiding your mind into uncharted territory. There are many different kinds of applications of this dream. For example, if you're an artist, want a new painting idea, you walk into the next room with the, the thought that there will be a new painting on the wall there, and what do you know, there is the painting. Managing dreams may be the only chance we get to influence what's normally out of our control, our brain. There's no more complex or mysterious organ than the human brain. It runs our lives, conscious and unconscious, often pushing us in directions of its own choosing. A three-pound universe whose mysteries we are only starting to reveal. It's a journey of scientific exploration that could unlock potential we can't yet see, pushing our bodies to new limits.